hello everyone welcome back to my channel welcome if you guys are new here thank you so so much for clicking on today's video as you guys can see from today's title we have a luxury bag unboxing video if you're new here you might not know i'm a vintage and luxury handbag addict i have a huge collection and it's been a hot minute since i've added a new bag to my collection so i'm very excited to show you guys a new one today if you guys are new here and you do enjoy this video it'd mean the world to me if you go and hit that subscribe button also check me out on instagram tiktok all my other socials and without further ado let's get on with the unboxing so today's video is going to be a Le Pliage Longchamp unboxing slash review of how I found the bag I wanted a new tote bag for a little while now I have the pollen seam dupe from mango I'll pop some pictures on the screen and I use that bag so much it was literally like 20 pound and I honestly use it to death I feel like I now can't function without a tote bag and being a designer and luxury loving girly I feel like I just wanted to add a designer tote bag to my collection because I don't really have any like kind of bigger designer bags I went on the lookout I looked at a lot of different vintage ones I looked at some new ones and I've always loved the Goyard tote bags that was kind of my first point of call um some of my friends have the Goyard tote bags and I love them I think they're amazing but the price point now is just absolutely ridiculous 2500 to 3000 pound for a bag in good condition vintage even so yeah it was a lot of money the next kind of brand and trending tote that i've been seeing everywhere has been the longchamp le pliage bag you know all over pinterest all over tiktok and it wasn't really on my radar that much until probably the last four or five months um and i just become obsessed with it yeah i just was so shocked when i saw the price point and these bags are actually they're not affordable but they are definitely a more affordable end of luxury in my opinion so i knew that i wanted a longchamp le pliage tote bag i headed to the regent street store this was literally i think not last week the week before put some little pictures on the screen and you walk in and all the bags are literally folded up on this huge wall and all the colors displayed in this kind of rack and um, all the bags are folded up so tiny they literally just look like just squares of material so you could just see the color but you couldn't see any of the sizes i went in with quite an open mind i wasn't really set on any color any size i just knew i probably wanted a medium or a large or even an extra large and i was kind of drawn to more of the colors black navy and crimson i believe in the end i decided to try on the large size le pliage tote bag in the crimson red and the black and when I tell you I was genuinely deciding between these two colours for about 40 minutes, that is no joke. I was in there for so long and I literally just could not decide. In the end, I decided to go with, actually I won't tell you guys which one, but you'll probably guess from this. I decided to go with not the mainstream one. Uh, one thing about me as well is I love to have things that not everyone has. I love to pick kind of unusual colourways, unusual bags. And I feel like one of these colours have just been overdone a little bit and I just wanted to be a bit different. This is probably one of my only downfalls about purchasing the bag, which is honestly such a minor thing. But obviously it is a designer bag, you are purchasing a luxury bag and it comes in this paper bag. Uh, I don't know if this is the case for all long shops or if you order it online you might get more of a box or kind of a bit more of a luxe bag. But I'm just someone that loves to collect my designer bags, I've got them all in my wardrobe and I was just a bit surprised when this one came in a very thin paper bag but we move obviously you're paying for the bag not for the packaging and then le pliage i think actually means to fold so when i first received the bag she was literally just an origami piece of paper in this little zip wallet um so yeah literally the bag came in the zip wallet and in the paper bag and this is just like a little plastic clear like zippy bag that just says long shampoo so enough talking about the packaging let's talk about the bag so da -da -da. She is a beaut. So I decided to go with the large Le Pliage tote bag in the crimson red. I'll put the technical name, whatever it's called, on the screen so you guys know exactly what colour I purchased. There was two crimsons. There was one that was a bit more of like a berry colour and it had a berry um, leather detail at the top as well. But I personally opted for the more crimson tone just because I really wanted the classic brown trimming leather and handles this bag cost me i think it was 100 or 110 pounds which for a luxury tote bag that is amazing quality is insane like it's literally unheard of in this day and age my first extremely positive point to say about this bag is the craftsmanship and quality as soon as i unboxed it and opened it the stitching 
and just the whole just structure of the bag is immaculate sometimes when i've received prada bags before they literally have a few like loose threads or the stitching slightly uneven on the corners but this is absolute perfection you can just see how much time and effort has gone into creating it you can obviously see all at the back the stitching is literally just immaculate the zip and everything is perfect and yeah i was really surprised to see again it's a luxury bag but it's a really good price point and you can definitely see the care and quality gone into making the bag made of this kind of nylon material i do have a prada nylon piece which i absolutely love and i'd say it's a very similar feel to that it's definitely got like a more silky feel to it um which is really good and makes it really really durable top section is all leather so this little front pocket here is leather and then the handles are also leather when i got home i was getting really confused about what size i wanted and when i was in the shop i thought no brainer i want the large but as soon as i bought it home i didn't know if it was a little bit too big but upon reflection the reason why i went with the large is because the drop handle length so i knew this bag was going to be an autumn winter tote for me i knew i was going to be wearing it with coats and thick jackets and jumpers and I just needed a bag that I could throw over my shoulder and not get all bunched up. So I'd say that is probably my main reason for choosing the large over the medium. It's just because of this length here. When you get the medium, it's definitely not as long of a handle. So that's just something to bear in mind. For reference, I am 5 foot 10. So I think on me as well, the large just looks a bit more in proportion. I feel like if you are anywhere below 5'3 or 5'2, then maybe the medium would be a better fit. But in London, I've seen so many girls with these and I literally cannot distinguish between the medium and the large on some people. So I think it all depends on your build. It all depends on how much you want to fit in the bag and what you want to use the bag for. Let's open her up and I can show you guys what she's like inside. Oh, I also didn't get to show you guys the little hardware pieces. So when you open up the bag, you have the gold hardware clasp here. This has got the little long chomp embossing as well and you've got long chomp embossed on the front. And then I also love the little zip detail as well. It's got like a little gold long shot and zip there when you first open up the bag you have one huge compartment and then you have one little pocket here which is actually i say little pocket it's actually quite a big pocket so the inside lining is all black which is amazing for stains or if you're gonna put anything in here like makeup i feel like it's just really easy to wipe clean and you have this huge pocket at the side which i use for my airpods and for my phone and i feel like it's just so simple to just pop everything in there and it doesn't get lost in the whole rest of the bag obviously the bag zips up so it's still very secure even though this pocket doesn't have any fastening and then the rest of the bag oh is that a little oh yeah there's also a little pocket here as well so there's a little mini pocket and then you get a larger pocket along the back and this is where again i had a little bit of a blip with the bag um it's not a negative point it's just something that i think that you should bear in mind if you are going to purchase this tote so when i first bought it home i thought i loved the size i loved the whole vibe of it i feel like it was perfect over the arm and then as soon as i started packing stuff in it it literally just lost all its shape so i'm just going to do a little demonstration it literally went like this kind of shape or even worse like it literally just kind of sagged down and just looked a bit sad that kind of put me off the bag at first and i was panicking a little bit and then after doing some research on tiktok i found that every single person pretty much buys a bag organizer so i decided to purchase this bag organizer from amazon i will leave it linked down below because this has just been a lifesaver there are loads on there as well you don't just have to get this one but this one was pretty cheap and i think it was the amazon recommended one super soft and you can also kind of like scrunch it up as well if you wanted to use it for other bags and there's just so many little compartments so in the main kind of section of it you get this which i actually use as a makeup bag so i put all my makeup in here and then you get these little pockets along the front which is where i put my brushes and lip products and then you also get this kind of pocket along the back as well and then that just fits in there with velcro I've got two separate compartments here two back pockets on both sides so two here and you also have two at the front as well you guys can see i'm doing a really bad job at showing you this little section at the side which is where i've been putting all my drinks if i go to the station and buy like a water i'll pop it in there and i just feel like it's everything that you could ever want i would recommend if you buy the large size just grab a bag organizer one for the safety and like cleanliness of the bag but also just to keep it structure and shape because she didn't look she looked really sad she honestly just looked a little bit droopy when i didn't have this in that is everything that i have to say about my le pliage tote bag 
Honestly, I am beyond impressed with the price point. I'm beyond impressed with the quality and craftsmanship. The colour is beautiful. The size is incredible. And just adding that little bag organiser just takes it to a whole other level. Um, like I said, I've only had this bag for two weeks. So I don't know all about the wear and tear of it. I did spill something on it before. And I literally just wiped it with a baby wipe. And it came straight off. And like I said, the nylon feels very silky and durable. So I wouldn't worry too much about staining. To be honest, I do kind of love when the Le Pliage totes get really worn and kind of look a bit vintage as well. So I don't really mind if she does get a little bit of wear and tear. Another thing that I also love about this is I feel like it is such a timeless piece. I feel like it's something that's always in fashion, even though it's having a bit of a moment now. I feel like it's going to be something you can wear for years to come. And it also just suits every single age range. I've seen schoolgirls use this bag. I've seen older women. I've seen work women. I've seen it styled in more kind of cool, kind of Scandi vibes. Or I've seen it styled more preppy. I've seen it styled very formal for work. So I really do think it is just a really great bag. And I'm really glad that Longchamp is getting a lot of credit right now and a lot of exposure thank you guys so much for watching i will link this bag down below the exact color and size and i'll link a few of my other favorite long shops as well also leave a link to the bag organizer and i'll leave a few more on there as well thank you guys so much for watching if you did enjoy this video please go and hit that subscribe button check me out on instagram and tiktok and hopefully i'll see you guys on my next video bye guys <laughs>